I'm not kidding. I follow college football. I've never seen a coach who makes it about himself as much as Deion Sanders. And you can say that's a good thing, but it's true. You can't compare that to any white coach. I've never seen it before. Now, now, were you – well, how do you, what do you mean he makes it about – well, he makes it about himself how? And by the way, were you rooting for Colorado State? Because you sound like a Colorado State fan. Uh, probably. But I'm curious. Can you name a white coach off the top of your head that you think makes it about himself, sells sunglasses? Well, well, all- well can you – no, can you name a white coach who they doubt like they doubt in Dia? They don't do white coaches like that and second guess them. You know, they don't do that to white coaches. When a white coach comes in by default, they're like, well, yep, he's the man for the job. But Dion, everything was about second guessing. Can he do it? Will he fail? What is he going to do? Does he have the skills? Does he have the experience? Does he have the everything was about doubting Dion? And he was like, hey, you know what? I'm going to do what I do. I'm going to come in. I'm going to win. Y'all keep doubting me. I'm going to make you a believer. So he was making it about himself and it as it relates to people doubting him. So, yeah, he's going to speak up for himself. You understand? Why would he be selling his sunglasses? Like, have you ever seen a coach before who sells a merchandise brand completely separate from anything related to the team? Makes his own pair of sunglasses and starts selling it to people. Um, he's had that what's plan. Pro- What's wrong with that? Hell, the college sports for years, they made a grip off the, the those black players and those black players didn't get a dime. So, yes, I want Dion to market everything he can and make every dime he can. I mean, it's not just that. It's just the whole thing. It's just it's all about it really is. It, I There's y'all no hate, other program. I swear, y'all hate to see a competent black person who ain't bowing down, who's winning. Why do y'all hate that so much? Because it makes us insecure that we can't do it the same way he can. Thank you. <laughs> Thank yeah. you. But that's a you problem. At least say, I'm glad you're being honest. But that's a you I problem. I know, but we, when we when, when we, we see a black it. man shining, it just like tears us down because that's like all we have left is the coach. I know that. But y'all have, it's a you problem. There's great things that you can do within your community. There's great things, I man. Know. You got you guys got volleyball. You guys are phenomenal at volleyball. Y'all got that. Also, uh, we have badminton. Ho- yeah, hockey, all of that stuff, man. You don't don't feel bad. Don't feel I know, bad. Ever man. since Tiger Woods uh, changed the game in golf, we've just like been reeling from that. All we have now is curling. I, I, I know. I, I know. Y'all, y'all got um um rest. All right, Salawam, Salawam. This is your brother Shamak out of the Great Millstone Atlanta camp. Before I get started, I want to give all the glory, infinite praises unto Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai Bahashim, Bahakwadash, Yahweh being the Heavenly Father's true name and his only begotten son's true name being Yahweh Shai, both in the Hebrew language, whom the world incorrectly calls God and Jesus Christ. Also, I want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who teach and rule well, and who are the true leaders of the Hebrew Israelites within these last days. Also, I want to give a Shalom to our sincere brothers that's preaching, teaching the truth worldwide, and Shalom to you sincere listeners and you sincere believers, all right? And land backing off the clip, as you just heard uh, from, from I think, an interview or a podcast, uh, from a call-in or whatnot, okay? Basically, from a, a basically an Israelite, uh, basically Edomite versus the, versus the Israelites, man. Esau versus, versus Jacob. All right, even though this is a uh, has to do with the with the sports world or the sports background, it's all spiritual. Okay, it's all spiritual, and as, as you heard within the clips. Okay, as as the Edomites just get insecure when seeing Israelites succeed. Okay, succeed with confidence. Okay, such as for for in this case or this example that's taking place in college football right now with Deion Sanders. All right, but ultimately it's truly spiritual. And, when, and for those that are, that are not aware of what the Edomites or the so-called white nation or the, or the white coaches or the, or true, the, hey, the Edomites in, in general, what, what are they hating on is that it, it's, it's truly the success of an Israelite man, all right? An Israelite spirit, okay? Of, of coming from the, or basically uh, currently seceding on the big stage within college sports, coming from a historically black college university uh, success, Okay, from coaching, all right, already had NFL experience, has two sons starring at the quarterback in safety positions, all right. He recently was the uh, just had a uh, game last week, the fifth most watched college football game on record, 
okay? Most streamed uh, college football game with 11 million viewers, all right? Sold out, sold out season tickets, which I, which if I'm if I'm corrected, first time in school history, all right? S sold sunglasses this week, profited five million, okay? Sons are making millions, okay? Because college players can, can get paid, all right? So there's a lot of hate going on. They're currently the, the team of Colorado, um, is what three and zero right now? Okay, the previous year they were one eleven. So it's a lot of hate, but it's spiritual. That's the thing about it. All right, even though it has to do with the inf you know with filtering through sports, it's it all comes back to being it's all spiritual. Okay, and I just had these images up just to put a name with the face for those that are not aware. Okay, but this is Genesis chapter twenty five, verse twenty one. Okay, it reads. And Isaac entreated the Lord for his wife. This has to do with the time in the beginning. All right, the birth of Esau, the, the, for the birth of Esau and Jacob. Esau and the Edomites, all right, Esau is basically the progenitor, all right, of the so-called white nation today. And Jacob is the progenitor of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and you Native Americans today. You are truly Hebrew Israelites according to the Bible. All right, in the name of the Lord and his only begotten son is Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. All right, there will be no deliverance or salvation without calling upon those names. All right, and that's for everybody to understand. That's for everybody to take heed to, okay, and repent why these evil days are not, uh, why these evil days come not. All right, but continuing on, it says, And Isaac entreated the Lord for his wife because she was barren, and the Lord was entreated of him, and Rebekah his wife conceived. And the children struggled together within her, and she said, If it be so, why am I thus? And she went to inquire of the Lord. So she was trying to figure out what was going on in her womb. All right. Because two nations were in the womb. Verse 23. As it explains. It says in the, where it reads. And the Lord said unto her. Two nations are in thy womb. And two manner of people shall be separated from thy bowels. So we're from the womb. From the time of the beginning. From the time of Genesis. All right. We were to be separated from these Edomites. Israelites the Edomites were never meant in the Lord's eyes to get along. Okay. That's why they, that's why it comes down to being spiritual. They hate to see it, man. And most of those views and most of these and, and part of this success is due is due to the hate of the Edomite race, man. Okay, that's part of it. All right. It says, "In two manner of people shall be separated from thy bowels, and the one people shall be stronger than the other people." All right. Do we have to explain what people this is? That's the one. That one people stems from the descendants of, of Jacob, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Okay, you Negroes, Latinos, and you Native Americans. All right, we are stronger, stronger in every category, whether it's in sports, whether it's music, whether it's dancing, all right, whether it's inventions, okay, damn sure spiritual, okay, more spiritual, all right, than the other people. And the reason the elders shall serve the younger, all right, it's going more into the birth. And when her days were to be delivered, were fulfilled, behold, there were twins in the womb. Verse 25. And the first came out red all over like in hairy garment, and they call his name Esau. Or that's where you would have the Edomites, the red people. They're not true. They're not white. They're so called white. They're truly red people. They're truly Edomites, according to the Bible. All right, verse twenty six. And after that he came his brother out, and his hand took hold on Esau's heel, which was symbolism that the Israelites would be up next after the fall. Of the Edomites infrastructure after the fall of the Edomites rulership, all right, which is soon to come to pass, all right, and that's according to Bible prophecy. Okay, it says that his name was called Jacob, all right, and and Isaac was three score years old when she bared them, all right. So there you have it, all right. First came out red all over like a hairy garment was, and one people was to be what stronger and separated from the bowels, man. Esau and Jacob was always, were always was always meant to 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 be at a. Uh, a disagreement with one another, all right, even to this very day, all right, we don't have, it's, it's a plethora of examples that's going on each and every day, man, all right, Jake, the, the Israelites, we're, we're truly what, the, the, the last hired, the first fired, all right, we're constantly, you know, being dis discriminated, sick, you know, all, all, all types of, uh, uh, attacks, physically, mentally, spiritual attacks upon us each and every day because we're serving our oppressors, because we were disobedient, Unto Yahweh by Shemiah Shai. So we're serving our punishment under the Edomites. Okay. So continuing on with Ezekiel chapter 35. This is show that this hate is, is biblical. All right. It's, it's documented. It's written. All right. For them to feel this way. For them to feel insecure. 
for them to fear torn down whenever they see a, a Israelite Israelite spirit shining. Okay, all right. And, and a side note. Okay, side point that the Israelites are scattered worldwide. You Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans is not a color thing. The Israelites are scattered worldwide, all over the earth. All right, it's about the spirit of the man. Okay, not the appearance. All right, just to put that disclosure out there. This is not a black or white thing. All right, because you you may you may very well have uh, Israelites that that appear on the appearance on the outside on the outward appearance may appear to be an Edomite, but truly in the inner spirit they are an Israelite. Okay, and that's truly going to be determined by the angels of the Lord. All right, but Ezekiel chapter thirty five verse five it reads, "Because thou hast had a perpetual hatred, a forever hatred, man." All right, it says, and has shed the blood of the children of Israel, all right, which are the descendants are of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Jacob's name was changed to Israel in Genesis chapter 32, verse 28, at the wrestling with the angel. All right, Israel meaning in the Hebrew tongue, Yasharala, all right, meaning he princes of the power. And are we not princes of the power, man? All right, just, just land backing off this Deion Sanders, uh, this influence and this impact lately. It's the, it's the it's the it's the Israelite effect. It's the Jacob effect, man. Jake stemming from Jacob. Okay, it's what happens when you, the, the Edomites don't have that type of that flavor, that sauce. Okay, they don't they don't they don't carry that energy. All right, like like the Israelites do because we're the stronger, we're the better people. All right, that and that's that's documented. Okay, let me get that. <laughs> let me get that Deuteronomy, the, man. Deuteronomy twenty uh seven. It's a lot. Deuteronomy chapter 7, man. All right. This is Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 6. It reads, For thou art an holy people. Hey, we're truly, a, we're a holy people, man. The Lord is only, he only deals and loves the Israelites. The heathen nations, he, he cares, he cares, he doesn't give a damn about them. And that's according to the Bible. Okay. It says, For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy power. The Lord thy power have chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. Above all people that are upon the face of the earth. So this is what you may wonder: where, where, why is this hate so? Why is it? Why is this hate happening? Because it's spiritual. All right, it's beyond sports. It's deeper than sports. All right, we know that's vain. We know that's not going to amount to salvation. It's not going to amount to deliverance. Okay, but it's, it's it comes down to be it's being spiritual, man. And these scriptures back that point up. Okay, verse. Uh, so going back to Ezekiel chapter thirty-five, verse five, one more time. Because thou hast had a perpetual hatred, and this is concerning Mount Seir, concerning the Edomites, okay? It says, because thou hast had a perpetual hatred, and we, does not slavery, or does not history itself show that the Edomites hate us, man, with a, with a perfect hatred. They, they, man, they love to hate us, man, and we hate them, all right? And the, the Lord, hey, let me, let me say that, the Lord hates them, Okay? And we, we love what the Lord loves and we hate what the hate and we hate what the Lord hates. Okay. It says, and has shed the blood of the children of Israel by the force of the sword in the time of their calamity, and the time of their iniquity had an end. All right. The, the Edomites been oppressing us, uh, punishing us, man. Okay. But that time will is about to come to a complete end, man. All right, due to Bible prophecy. So this is also concerning Edom, concerning you Edomites, okay. This is Ezekiel chapter 25, verse 12. Thus said the Lord power, because that Edom have dealt against the house of Judah, and Judah being the, uh, the top tribe of the southern kingdom uh, that stems from the 12 tribes of Israel. All right. It says, by taking vengeance and have greatly offended and revenged himself upon them. All right. He have, the Edomites have done things to, to, our, to our nation, to our people, to our children, our, our women, that things we don't even know about, man. All right. The things, the things that we are aware about are, are enough, man. Okay? Verse 13. It says, Therefore, thus saith the Lord power, I will also stretch out my hand upon Edom. So the Lord is going to touch you. The Lord is going to get to you, Edomites, man, as, an, as a whole. Okay? And will cut off man and beast from it. And I will take it desolate from Teman, and they of, De De of Dedan shall fall by the sword. And I will lay my vengeance upon Edom. By the hand of my people Israel. The Lord is going to you a the Lord is going to use the Israelites, man. Okay. The fishes shall be turned into hunters. Spiritual powers. All right. The angels. All right. The kingdom of the kingdom of heaven being ruled by the by Yahweh by Shem Shai and the Israelites. It says that they shall do and eat them according to mine anger and according to my fury. The Lord is pissed off, man. 
That's what the world is, is not realizing. That's what the world is not aware of. That the Lord is pissed off with the heathens, especially the Edomites of the heathens. All right. The, the heathens being all right, all those nations outside the Israelites. It says, and they shall know my vengeance, said the Lord power. Are you going to know the Lord's vengeance, man, through destruction? Okay. You're going to know it through, through destruction, man. All right. It's going to be it's going to be plain, clear. All right. And let's get this uh, straight to the point. It's no, it's no, it's no rebuttal after reading this. This is Romans chapter nine, verse thirteen. As it is written, Paul teaching to the Israelites that were in Rome the same way we're in America, and we're still Israelites. All right, the same. It's the same. It's the same similar message, man. All right. So don't don't by by any means don't get this confused that these Romans are Edomites. All right, these are Israelites in Rome. It reads, as it is written, Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. See, the Lord loves the Israelites and the Lord hates the Edomites. Is that clear? Is this is this scripture clear enough, man? I, when I first heard this scripture, I was shocked. I was like, damn, that's in the Bible? Man, it was, a, it was an eye opener. All right, but it is straight to the point, clear. Verse 14, what shall we say then? Is there unrighteousness with God? God forbid. So no one's able to say, well, I think that's wrong. I just don't think that's fair. No, that's 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 the Lord's way, man. All right, the Lord the Lord ways the Lord you know ways is perfect, It's upright, okay. And your ways are are, are unequal, okay, and not right. <laughs> Verse fifteen. For he said unto Moses, I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy, and I will have compassion on whom I will have compassion. All right, and ultimately the Lord will have mercy and compassion on the Israelites. All right, as a nation, or uh, we you know even though. As a nation, every all Israelites will not be delivered in these last days. But it's you know through reincarnation, these these spirits coming back on the earth within the kingdom of heaven, that mercy is still shown to the nation of Israel. That that rulership is still going to be given to the to the Israelites as a whole. All right. Okay. That that mercy and that compassion. All right. And the Lord does what He wants. Ultimately, He does what He wants. This He's promised for these things to come to pass, and these are and, and we're going to reap the benefits. All right. Simple as that. All right, so this hate that was that was exhibited and seen with the, from the podcast, you know, and the hate that that's being, you know, continued. This, this hate is going to probably go, you know, all season through this, you know, college football season or whatnot. But just know that it's deeper than sports. It's it's a spiritual, all right. It's it's, it's a biblical hate. Okay, it's spiritual. It's it's not. Just, it doesn't just start and end with sports. No, it's spiritual, man. Okay, just looking through the spiritual lenses. So truly, the point was made. All right, and Lord willing, you know the lesson was edifying and also encouraging to you sincere believers out there. All right, I want to end up by giving all the glory, infinite praises unto Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rechakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Repent, Yahweh Shai is coming back. Repent, Yahweh Shai is coming back. All right, Shalom, keep the faith, Shalom.